Good morning, guys. It is Monday morning here. I'm um, out back pushing Aria. Hudson's out here too, okay, playing in his little pen. And, um, and, okay. to yeah, I'm about to tell them that. Mm -hmm. I'm about to tell them. Um, <clears throat> anyway, what time is it? It is only 7.50. We're up bright and early. Um, Luna is actually getting spayed today. So we had to wake up early to get her to her appointment for that. And I felt so bad. <laughs> like I've never taken her. Like she's never been boarded or anything or stayed anywhere other than here. Even when we go on vacation, my mom comes here. So I feel so bad. And she was just, and she's a, she's a big, big scaredy cat. Such a big scaredy cat. Like world's biggest scaredy cat. So I feel really bad she was shaking and everything. And I'm just like, oh, I feel like she thinks I'm leaving her, like abandoning her. So anyway, we'll pick her up later in the day. I hope all goes well. I'm very nervous, but we've been needing to get her spayed for a long time. And it's just one of those things like, I just never actually go do it. Um, <clears throat> and I mean, she's, you know, contained in the backyard and everything. So I don't really worry about her getting, getting pregnant, but I get tired of dealing with the female aspects of that. So anyway, thought just get that done. So getting that done today, praying that everything goes well. Uh, stopped and got everyone just a little sausage biscuit on the way home. <clears throat> so now we're home and I don't know if I said it is Monday. Um, I see you playing. I want to do a pot roast today, but even if I would have got it in at six in the morning, it would not be done until two. And I was up at six, but Aaron leaves for work at 2.20. And I don't like when he has to eat that close to leaving because then he's like trying to rush and he's, you know, standing up and eating while he's packing his lunch or, you know, just whatever. So, um, I'm going to do it in the instant pot so that way it can be done faster. It's already all thawed. Let me come see you. Hudson's like, why am I over here by myself? <laughs> um, so I'm going to get that going. We got school today. It was so funny. Liam yesterday, <clears throat> it was Sunday and I see him like kind of walking around like, oh, what to do? I see him standing up. Yeah. And he goes to the school cabinet and he gets out his, uh, one of his school books, his thinking tree journal. And he goes to the table and finds the page that he's on. He's like, mom, can I just write sun for Sunday? And I'm like, yep, you can. So he knows it's Sunday. <laughs> and I'm just waiting to see like, if he realizes this is Sunday. Um, and we have been known to do some school on weekends, but I don't ever like, we don't always do that. Um, it's not a, not a real thing, but sometimes we'll do like read alouds and crafts and stuff. So anyway, I'll come get you. I'll come, I gotta go get Hudson and then I'll finish get my story. You. You want mama? Hey, hi. Whoa, there she goes. Wow, that's amazing. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I said yes. You can just write sun for Sunday. <clears throat> so he's going about his thing, and Dad or Aaron comes to the room, and he's like, Dad, you off today? Thinking, yeah, that's kind of weird. And and Aaron was like, Yeah, I'm off today. He was like, Huh? Oh, okay. You know, thinking that's kind of weird. And then my mom takes Liam to church a lot. And so I was like, Liam, you going to church with Gimme? And he was like, yeah, okay, yeah, just me finish this up real quick. <laughs> and um, and then when Gimme gets here, what, how was it that got brought up? Oh, I was saying, tomorrow's Monday, you know, we'll go back to school. And Liam was like, wait, it's not a school day? Get out of my shirt, sissy. <laughs> Climbing up my shirt. And I was like, no, it's not a school day. And he was like, what? I thought that was so funny. And he was just like, oh my gosh. But hey, he got a head start for today. So there's that. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> How do you know watch? Watch, Eddie. Say hi. I'm getting lunch going. It's only 8.30, so yay for me. <laughs> anyway, the roast, I just seared it on both sides. And I'm about to get it back in here, and then we're going to do mashed potatoes with it, and either a salad or broccoli or something. So getting this going, getting things done. We should always wake up at 6. Actually, I do always wake up at I wake up at 6 all the time, but my other kiddos don't. So maybe that's the key to success. We should all wake up really early. Also... I had to get up and dress to get out the door. And I normally don't just get dressed right off. But I like the way this morning feels. This is how Mondays used to always feel. I used to love Mondays. It used to be my favorite day of the week. And ever since Aaron's gone back to work, I'm like, oh, it's Monday. <laughs> anyway, I'm apparently I've had too much iced coffee. Maybe I'm in a very giddy mood. So, all right, this is all dissolved. I'm gonna add in my roast. Ari's outside helping Aaron clean his car. 
Uh, Melissa's watching the baby for me. Everyone's just going about life. Are you swinging? Did you swing in? Oh. Where are you going? Did you wake up? Lunch is done. We're gonna go eat. walked Hudson down for his nap. I'm going to read um, the little pair to the kiddos who want to listen to that. And like Liam's going to do one of his thinking tree pages while he listens. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. I don't even know what's happening there. Um, he has a page where he like doodles what, what he's listening to while I read it. And Violet's having leftovers lunch. Leftovers from lunch. I'm having the weather lately is causing a lot of migraines. Anyway, um, so that's what we are up to. Well, I guess I think I just said, yeah, Aaron's going to work. We have two and a half hours. No, just two hours now until we pick up Luna. So we'll see how much school stuff we can get done. We've just been doing little bits here and there throughout the day, which has kind of been what we've been doing the last couple of weeks, just little bits throughout the day. I like to get some done before evening, um, which is, was our old schedule when we were doing more book work. Um, I love when Aaron's on first shift so we can get, because I'm a morning person, I like to just get the day going really early, but it's kind of hard to do school, full on school when he is home. Um, so we just kind of do it bits and pieces here and there throughout the whole entire day, which I know would probably drive some people crazy, but I don't have, it doesn't drive me crazy. I don't have like anything I need to be doing in the evening. It doesn't stress me out. Um, anything like that. So we just do it here and there when we can and when we want to. So anyway. I'm gonna read while Huddy's taking a nap. I like to do that. I had someone asking, why do you hold Hudson while he naps? Um, normally, or sometimes if you see me holding him while he's napping, it's because I'm gonna be reading aloud. Um, 
and so he just kind of sits here with me and I read the book. So that's what works for me. Anyway, I'm going to go read this. All right, so we got a lot of school done. Um, <clears throat> little girls might be done for the day and the big kids are just about done. So everyone's kind of outside. Well, Natalie's still working. Um, everyone else is outside kind of taking a break, enjoying some fresh air. We only have less than 30 minutes till we go pick up Luna. I had to change. Do you guys, me and my kids both, we will have certain clothes like shirts and stuff that we have for ages that never get dirty. They just last forever. And those are always like shirts that I like find thrifted or have a friend hand down or whatever. But when it's new, it always gets stained. Like if I go and actually buy it new, <laughs> it, like with the kids and with me. So I was wearing one of my new shirts this morning and a little girl painted with blue paint. I don't know which one. I know they both painted. And I don't know if they came and hugged me or they were showing me their pictures or what. But I had blue paint on me. And then the pot roast, the pot roast splashed on me. And so I got those juices on me. And then I made an afternoon coffee when I went to do the hammock. And it was really windy and I tried to do a hammock so I don't really know. But I got coffee on me and I'm just like, <laughs> that shirt, I'm gonna have to cover the whole thing and shout and hope it all comes out. But I'm just like, that always happens when I have new stuff and when my kids have new stuff. Like if I go to Goodwill or a thrift store, or like I say, get hand-me-downs from friends, those clothes will last the whole season and can go to another kid and then even get sent on to other kids and other families last forever until they like deteriorate. But if I go buy them brand new clothes, it's like instantly, mysteriously get stained. And same with me. So I find that a little frustrating. Anyway, let me know. Does that happen to you? Is it just me? It's like karma? I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go get Luna soon. And I'm glad to have her home. I feel like I'm like mentally tired from worrying about Luna all day. She's just, she's a big baby, <laughs> big scaredy cat. Um, and she gets car sick and it's just a thing. So anyway, hopefully she'll be doing okay when we go get her. And I wanted to show you guys, look at all these little girls. Just like my Liam boy had, his where Liam's got to be even more ringlets. But anyway, I think that's so cute. Are you getting your shirt? Huh? You wanna go home? She's not very watching happy. Magic School Bus. You can probably hear that in the background, but I wanted to show you that we did put the third shelf up. It's really hard to get over here and have room to film, but anyway, there that is. I've just been reorganizing how I want the books to go. And now you can't really see that shelf. But anyway, I wanted two shelves to be more open-faced books and like fun books. And then I needed some just to be organized by type of book. Like if they're going to be read-alouds, read-alouds we've read, but I want to read again to little kids. Um, read-alouds we haven't read. Um, read-alouds that are more history-based. Read-alouds that are more like on the, or not read-alouds, books that are more like independent level reading. We had bunnies once and they destroyed those boxcar kid books. Um, so I need to order more, but I just kept them because they work fine. They're just ugly. Anyway, and then more like, you know, encyclopedia type books. And then Hudson can pull books down. So we have some buckets in the bottom shelves. Anyway, it's really hard to hold the phone and show you guys between my table and that. But just wanted to give you a little look. She is not feeling very good. She's very nauseous and just can't really get settled. So she's not having that great of a time, but we're all loving on her. And hopefully she'll sleep good tonight. Right, you guys, that's going to be it for today. It's a little after 7. And we're just, I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. How about you? See, it's almost bedtime, huh? People are having a little bedtime snack. We're watching Magic School Bus. Yeah, I know. Um, Luna's done decent. She's drank a lot of water. She asked to go potty. And she went potty. But she has thrown up just like a tiny bit two times. Once outside. And once on Natalie's bed. So... There's that, and then um, Aria really doesn't like injuries, boo-boos, um, doctor-type things. So she's having a hard evening just with, like, anxiety, not enjoying that. About why would, did that happen to Luna? What's wrong with Luna? I don't want to see Luna. She's not having a good time. So I'm going to go talking about it because it's finally getting a little bit better. But anyway, yeah, Luna just keeps getting up and down. And I feel like she's having pain, but I know she's had pain medication. But you know, when you're hurting or you feel nauseous, it could be from be being nauseous yeah. and you just can't settle because you think something's gonna make it better. So I, I should keep moving to make it better. So I'm hoping that she sleeps good. And she normally sleeps with Violet, but I'm thinking of maybe having her sleep with Natalie so that an older kid's in there so that if something happens, um, 
Natalie would know more, like, to come get me, maybe. And also would be more um, knowledgeable. That's not the word I'm looking for, but of her feet. More aware <laughs> of her feet and her legs um, than maybe a younger kid would. I don't know. Anyway, that's just information that doesn't matter. I'm going to go and get everyone ready for bed. Hope you guys are having a really good day. And I will talk to you next time. Say bye, y'all. Say bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm.